Hello, Toby from Urban Brew here. Welcome to our Coffee Pod Masterclass. It's not really a masterclass, it's just a few tips, but I think you'll find it very helpful. So let me start with, uh, we'll move away from coffee pods, we'll go to like a traditional cafe. This is what they use, and what a lot of people probably don't know is that they actually have different sized baskets in here. So if you order a normal coffee, it's probably got a 10 to 12 gram basket in there. If you order a double shot or a long black, they're actually going to switch that out and put a bigger basket so they can get more coffee in there. There's going to be 12 or, uh, sorry, 20 to 25 grams in there. Um, so that's a traditional cafe. So when we come across to pods, we don't really have the ability to get any extra coffee in there. It's around 5 grams and it is what it is. So because of that, I always suggest using a short shot. So when I very first started using pods, I remember I started with the long shot. And I guess the reason for that was I thought, I paid for this pod, I might as well get the most out of it, and I might as well get bang for my buck. Um, so I thought I was getting more coffee, I thought I was getting more caffeine. And it took me years to learn that that wasn't actually the case at all. So what it's doing is because it's running water through the same amount of coffee, you're really just sort of getting dirty water towards the end. So, you know, the, the first 30, 40 mils of the shot is, is where you're going to extract all of the beautiful oils out of the coffee. That's where the magic happens. Anything beyond there and it's just not really great. So I'll quickly run the comparison now for you. So this is a, a short shot, which is a 40 mil shot. It's a bit weird. I think we left too many pods in there. Anyway, as you can see, beautiful color, good crema. There you go. So that's a standard 40 mil shot. Now, this is gonna show how professional we are. We've actually left this full of pods, which isn't a good thing. All right, so this is a long shot. And it starts out in much the same way, but as it continues, and if you may not be able to see it in the video, you may want to do this at home and see for yourself. You just notice towards the end, it sort of loses that color and it's not such a nice creamy, you know, crema looking color. It sort of just ends up being, like I said, dirty water towards the end. Um, so Nespresso have actually developed specific pods for the Lungo shot and Look, my opinion is it's still ultimately the same volume of coffee in there, the same weight of coffee. So it's not really, you know, it's a different grind, um, but it's it's still not really ideal. In, in a traditional sense, you shouldn't be running so much water through such a small amount of coffee. So as you can see, it's just gone very white now. It's, it's lost its color. And it takes so much longer to extract as well. So a, a standard shot is about 40 mils. This is a Lungo shot, I think is 120 mils. So it's basically three times the amount of water. So what that's going to mean now is, is when you look at that side by side, you think, wow, I'm getting so much more coffee. But if now this, if you fill this with milk, and you fill this with milk, equal amounts of milk, well, no, actually, if you just fill it up to the top there, uh, you're going to find that this is actually going to be a stronger coffee because this has just been watered down. So do the experiment. Um, you find this is probably the Lungo shot is going to be much more bitter as well because it's really, by running so much water through it, you, you get a lot of bitterness from it. Um, so run the experiment. From my experience, sometimes you, you, you prepare your coffee in a different way. It might be better, but because you're not used to it, you've been drinking it a certain way for so many years, it can taste a little bit weird. So some people sort of try it and do it once and then go back to the way they did it. I uh, strongly encourage you to try it for like a week. Um, give that a go and I think you'll find, you know, we've had a lot of feedback from people saying that, well, thank you so much for letting me know this. Um, I've done the experiment and I've ended up using the short shot. And that goes for all the machines as well, not just the Nespresso, for the Caffeinely, for the Cafe. Uh, another little thing is, is the intensity of the blend. So again, back when I started out, I thought that the higher intensity meant I was getting twice as much caffeine. And it's not really true. The intensity really relates to the, the strength, the taste of the coffee. Um, all the coffee pods have very similar amount 
you know, typically in the higher intensity blends, there's a little bit more robusta in there to give it to kit to cut through the milk. And robusta blend it has marginally more caffeine in it. So you do get slightly more, but it's really not enough to be noticeable. So, you know, don't just go for the high intensity blends because you think you're getting more caffeine. I go there if you like a stronger tasting coffee and if you want to cut through a lot of milk. If you drink a short black, um, definitely go for like a six. It's, it's a much smoother blend. Our six is 100% Arabica, no robusta in there at all. Uh, so yeah, look, just experiment. That's, that's the one thing I can suggest is uh, try lots of different things and, and find what suits you best. Don't just do the same thing for your whole life because after 20 years you might find out you could have been drinking better tasting coffee this entire time. So there you have it. Sorry that was a bit long-winded, but there you go. I hope you find that helpful.